So for this video, I'm going to discuss Mathematics 8 module, quarter 1, week number 4. Simplifying Rational Algebraic Expressions. So let's have lesson 1, Simplifying Rational Algebraic Expressions. Recall that a rational number is a number that can be written as 1 integer divided by integers such as 1 divided by 2 or 1 half. Then we usually use the word fraction to mean one half. This idea can be extended to algebraic expression. So a rational expression is a polynomial divided by another polynomial, such as quantity of x plus 1 divided by quantity of 2x plus 3, or x plus 1 over 2x plus 3. In your previous grade level, you learned the concept of similar fractions, equivalent fractions, and simplifying fractions. For example, you know that a fraction 15 over 20 is equivalent to 3 fourths and can be simplified in the following manner. So 15 over 20, so 3 times 5 over 4 times 5, then cancel out 5. So you're going to have 3 fourths times 1 equals 3 fourths. Let us review your knowledge in reducing fractions to its simplest form by performing the activity below. So this is activity number one, plain and simplest. But match the given fractions in column A to its simplest form in column B. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. So just like rational numbers, rational algebraic expression can also be expressed in its simplest form. So the next activity will utilize your knowledge in factoring polynomials. What's new? Let, let go and be unique. Complete the table below. In each item, a pair of polynomial is given. The third column is the factored form of each polynomial. The fourth column or the let go column is the factor or factors common to each pair of polynomials. And the last column or the be unique column is the factors not common to each pair of polynomials. Write your answer in a separate sheet of paper. Then the first item is done to serve as an example. You may start in the second item. So we have here example number one. The given expressions are x squared plus x minus 6 and x squared minus 9. So factored form for x squared plus x minus 6 is quantity of x minus 2 times quantity of x plus 3. Then for x squared minus 9, Factored form is quantity of x minus 3 times quantity of x plus 3. So let go. This is the factor common to each pair of polynomials. So common in the 2 is x plus 3 and x plus 3. So common for let go is x plus 3. Then B unique column is the factors not common to each pair of polynomials. So you have their not common x minus 2 and x minus 3. So can you do 2, 3, 4, 5? Next, what is it? A fraction is said to be in simplified form when all pair of factors common to the numerator and denominator have been removed. So to simplify a fraction, we remove a factor equal to 1. This can be done in two ways. For example, to simplify 9 over 15, we proceed as follows. So 9, method number 1, for 9 over 15, we can have the factor of 9 as 3 times 3. And we can have the factor of 15 as 5 times 3. And then we can separate and divide out the common factor. So we have 3 over 5 times 3 over 3. That will be equal to 3 over 5 times 3 over 3 is 1, so times 1 in here. Then, 3 over 5 times 1 is equal to 3 over 5. Then, second method, method number 2, the same, we're going to have the factor of 9, 3 times 3 and 15, 5 times 3. Then, divide out common factor or cancel out common factor, which is 3. So, this will become 1. The 3 will become 1 in the numerator and the same with the 3 in the denominator. Then 3 times 1 equals 3 over 5 times 1 is 5. 3 over 5. 
Similarly, a rational expression is said to be in simplified form when its numerator and denominator have no common factor other than 1. So the process of simplifying rational algebraic expressions is similar to simplifying fractions. That is, we write the rational algebraic expression so that the numerator and denominator have no common factors other than 1. Steps on simplifying rational expression. 1. Factor completely the numerator and denominator. 2. Separate and divide out common factors if there is or are any. Then 3. Multiply the remaining factors. Let's have example here. Number 1. Write the rational expression 28x squared over 7x to the power of 4 in simplest form. So in here we're going to factor completely the numerator and denominator. We can have 28x cubed as 4 times 7x cubed. And we can factor 7x to the power of 4 as x times the quantity of 7x cubed. Now in here we're going to separate and divide out common factors. So common factors here are 7x cubed in the numerator and 7x cubed in the denominator. So we can have or we can group these two. Then 7x cubed divided by 7x cubed is equal to 1. So 4 over x times 1. Then 4 over x times 1 is equal to 4 over x. So that's 4 over x is the simplest form of 28x cubed over 7x to the power of 4. Or simply we can just cancel 7x cubed. Okay, it's because they are just equal to 1. So our answer automatically is 4 over x. Number 2, write the rational expression 3x minus 12 over 5x minus 20 in simplest form. Now if we are going to factor 3x minus 12, common here is 3. So 3, then 3x divided by 3 is x. You have here x. Then negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. So x minus 4. Then in the numerator, common here is 5. GCF is 5. So dividing 5x by 5, that will be x here. And dividing negative 20 by 5, that will be negative 4. So 5 times the quantity of x minus 4. Well, then separate and divide out common factors. So common factors in the numerator and denominator is x minus 4. So 3 over 5 times x minus 4 over x minus 4. Cancel out x minus 4 and x minus 4. So we can just have our answer as 3 over 5. Number 3. Express x squared plus xy plus y squared over x cubed minus y cubed in simplest form. So if we're going to look at the denominator here, this is difference of two cubes. So we can factor this one. Uh, I think this is the le lesson in week number one or week number two. So we're going to have our factor as quantity of x minus y times the quantity of x squared plus xy plus y squared. So just review your lesson on first week or I think second week. Then the numerator is x squared plus xy plus y squared. And in the denominator you have also x squared or quantity of x squared plus xy plus y squared. So you can group that one. You can separate that one. And it is equal to 1. So your answer should be 1 over x minus y. Number 4. Simplify p cubed plus q cubed over p squared minus q squared. So again, this is sum of two cubes. So just review your lesson about this one. So the factors for p cubed plus q cubed. Quantity of p plus q times the quantity of p squared minus p q plus q squared. Then the denominator p squared minus q squared, this is the difference of two squares. 
So, you'll just have quantity of P plus Q times quantity of P minus Q. Then you have there in the numerator P plus Q and in the denominator P plus Q. So, you can just separate the two. So, you're going to have P squared minus PQ plus Q squared over P minus Q times P plus Q over P plus Q. P plus Q over P plus Q is equal to 1. So, your answer should be P squared minus PQ plus Q squared over P minus Q. In some instances, you may encounter certain situations where a factor in the numerator is in opposite sign of a factor in the denominator. So, to proceed with this kind of problem, factor out negative 1 or a negative number so that the factors will become equivalent. Example number 1. Express x minus y over y minus x in simplest form. So, what we're going to do is factor completely the numerator and denominator by factoring negative 1 in the denominator. So, y minus x here is just equivalent to negative 1 times the quantity of x minus y. Okay? In here. So, if we're going to multiply that 1, negative 1 times x is negative x, negative 1 times negative y is y. The next one is we're going to separate and divide out common factors. So, in the numerator, there is x minus y. Denominator, there is x minus y. So, if we're going to separate that 1, x minus y times 1 is x minus y. So, you're going to have here 1 over negative 1 times x minus y over x minus y. Then, x minus y over x minus y is equal to 1. So, 1 over negative 1 times 1. This will be equal to negative 1. Another example here is simplify 3x minus 9 over 12 minus 4x. So, if we're going to simplify this one, the answer will be for the numerator, 3 is the common or GCF. So, 3, factor out 3, then 3x divided by 3 is x, negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. So, they have their 3 times the quantity of x minus 3 over 12 minus 4x, we can factor out negative 4, so that our denominator here will have uh, the same or same term on the numerator. So, factor out negative 4. So, your factor should be negative 4x divided by negative 4 is x. Then, 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3. So, 12 minus 4x is just the same as negative 4 times the quantity of x minus 3. Then, next is separate and divide out common factors. So, common is x minus 3 in the numerator and x minus 3 in the denominator. So, you have there 3 over negative 4 times the quantity of x minus 3 over x minus 3. So, 3 divided by negative 4 times 1, which is equal to negative 3 fourths. Number 3, write x squared plus 5x minus 14 over 4 minus x squared in lowest terms. So, factor out negative 1 in the denominator. So, we can have here negative 1 times x squared minus 4. So, this is just equivalent to 4 minus x squared. Then, factoring the numerator, we're going to factor or we're going to find two numbers whose so sum is 5 and whose product is negative 14. So, the numbers are in here, negative 2 and plus 7. Then, the factors will be quantity of x minus 2 times quantity of x plus 7 over negative 1. Then x squared minus 4. The factors of x squared minus 4 is x plus 2. Quantity of x plus 2 times quantity of x minus 2 in here. So you have there in the numerator quantity of x minus 2 and in the denominator quantity of x minus 2. So you can separate that one. So, you have there x plus 7 over negative 1 times x plus 2 times x minus 2 over x minus 2. So, your answer should be x plus 7 over 
negative 1 times x plus 2 times 1, the result of x minus 2 over x minus 2. Then, this is multiplied to 1, so your answer should be negative x plus 7 over x plus 2. What's more, activity 1, simplest or not simplest? That's, that is the question. So identify if the given rational expression is in simplest form or not. Write S if the given is in simplest form. Otherwise, write NS. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. So just apply what we have discussed earlier. Then activity 2, the simplest of them all. Express the given algebraic expression to its simplest form. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. So again, you're going to apply what you have learned on our discussion a while ago. What I have learned, what a wonderful week. Reflect on the topic and activities you have done this week by completing the following statements. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. So you're going to fill in the blanks in this activity. Next is what I can do. Unboxing. Vince's parents bought him a new pair of school shoes. The shoes was placed in an ultra-thin rectangular shoe box with square base, which has a volume of V equals S squared times height, and a surface area of SA equals 2S squared plus 4SH. Express the ratio of the volume to the surface area V over SA in simplest form. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. So you're going to have here S squared H, the volume, over 2S squared plus 4SH. So you're going to Simplify that one as your answer. The next here is the assessment. So you're going to answer 15 questions. And the last activity here is additional activity. Express the given rational algebraic expression to its simplest form. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. So the same with our discussion. So you'll just simplify 10 al rational algebraic expressions here. So that's it for this video. Thank you and good day.